Good morning, Comets, and welcome to What I Am, the daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have sports, entertainment, your daily weather outlook, and campus events. I'm your host, Sari Parker. In a break from tradition, President Xi Jinping will serve a third term as head of the Communist Party of China. Xi Jinping's third five-year term was approved over the weekend and was possibly made um, possible by him amid the Chinese constitution in 2018. He's already received messages congratulating him on the unprecedented achievement from the lakes of Russian President Val Vladimir Putin and Northern Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The New York trial of Trump's organization will see the jury selection process start today. Former President Trump is not personally charged but the Manhattan DA's office has hit the Trump organization with nine counts of tax fraud and other crimes. Former Chief of Financial, Financial Officer Alan Wessenberg, who worked for the organization for, for the decades, is expected to testify at some point. Pasta, it, pasta produced in Iowa is at the center of, branding, of a branding lawsuit. Barla, whose first U.S. production facility was in Ames, is currently uh, accused of misleading uh, customers to believe their pasta is imported from Italy. A federal judge says the company's slogan, Italy's number one brand of pasta, could be deceptive. Barla accuses the slogan pays, ac argues that the slogan pays homage to the company's Italian roots. The judge says class action lawsuit has enough merit to move forward. When we come back, we'll take a look at your, t at your t WIT TV, entertainment, news, and weather. Stay with us. I've been deployed overseas six times with multiple combat tours. I have had a bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. My name is Tosta Nihikioya, and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WITTV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Sports news, the Minnesota Timberwolves led by as many as 22 points during a 116-106 win over the Oklahoma City Thunder at Paycom Center. The Minnesota Wild opened up a five-game road trip with a 4-3 overtime loss to the Boston Bruins at TD Garden on Saturday. The Iowa Hawkeyes committed six turnovers in the 54-10 loss to number 2 Ohio State at Ohio Stadium on Saturday. Trevor Noah is giving fans a lot to talk about when it comes to Dua Lipa. The comedian was a guest star on Lipa's podcast, Dua Lipa, at your service. In addition to discussing his memoir and run on The Daily Show, Noah also did a fair bit over the gushing over the levitating singer. He called her a really wonderful light and mentioned he hopes to see her more. This comes after the pair made headlines in September, seeming to share a kiss in New York City. However, the speaking with fellow singer Charlie XCX on her podcast, Lipa revealed this year was the first time she'd been single in a very long time. Emergency services had to be called at Heathrow Airport after a man defecated all over the plane. 
Crew members and passengers were in the middle of boarding a flight to Nigeria when the man pulled down his pants and began relieving himself on the cabin floor. He proceeded to rub it into the carpets, the doors, and curtains, as well as smearing fecal matter all over his body and running up and down the plane. The flight was delayed for hours while the aircraft was taken out of service and everyone deboarded. British Airways has apologized to passengers, but didn't reveal if the corporate was charged. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be a mostly cloudy day with a high near 58. Tonight we'll be seeing a mostly clear night with a low around 33. And tomorrow we'll be seeing a sunny day with a high of 59. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check up on your latest WIT TV programming and at our website on our YouTube page. I've been Siri Parker and you enjoy the rest of your day.